Chris Hansen, I got constant radio waves just all through my head and my brain. Basically, my brain, that's what I'm saying, and all through the back of my head. Constant voice to skull coming from the Honolulu airport direction. Um, in the meantime, this computer keeps trying to act like human, saying, oh, you need to get this stuff off him uh, before he goes to Solon Pie so he's not a wreck on his money again. Um, but it's the computer voice saying it. Um, in the meantime, there's just constant radio waves all through my brain coming from the Honolulu airport um, direction. And voice to skull um, all associated with the attacks. Um, right now, the time is uh, 2 o'clock. Um, and uh, this has been going on now for over an hour and a half um, since 12.30. Um, I've been being attacked just straight, and now it's messing with the lighting, blacking my face out. Um, so I just turned up the lighting here on my phone. Um, this uh, program is just out of control. It's, it's just torturing me. It keeps putting blasphemies of the Holy Spirit uh, through. And I also keep hearing this lady blasphemer, who's obviously an organized gang stalker, the same one that was uh, blaspheming the Holy Spirit through the towers in Michigan, is uh, doing it across the air from the Honolulu Airport direction here in Hawaii now. Um, the same identical voice coming through these towers. It's Chris Hansen. This is a record of it. They're trying to uh, isolate me from friends and family, try to make me look like a loner, um, but they're not having a very good success job at it because I'm actually functionable. Um, I, I uh, have a, a YMCA membership. I'm involved with Salon Pie. Um, you know, I go swimming. I work out at the gym. In the meantime, they're trying to sabotage everything um, that I'm doing to try to make me look like this mental patient um, who doesn't have any friends and um, is alone and blah, blah, blah. And um, like they're doing with everybody who's targeted um, so they can come in and take our guns away and whatever or whatnot. In the meantime, they uh, keep telling people on the Internet that this uh, tower system for EMP, electromagnetic pulse, um, uh, if, it, if we lose our communications during, during a nuclear war or whatever, um, they can, uh, you know, use a system. In the meantime, the system is the ones knocking out the communications, blocking Facebook, blocking Messenger, terrorizing the people, um, uh, profiling uh, people, telling the organized gang stalkers when we leave, where we go, what we're wearing, you know. This, this whole thing is just organized terrorism through these cell towers, which is nothing but terrorist cells um, throughout the community paid for by the American government to terrorize people in the community and target them with this targeting system. Um, that's what's really going on. Um, as they block phones, block Facebook, block, you know, social media, um, you know. So, uh, in the meantime, I got still in pie tonight. Charles is gone. The organized uh, targeting is starting, um, started, um, you know, right before Charles was ready to leave. Um, as soon as I got off the bus from getting my shorts from alterations, um, I bought a couple of new pairs of shorts to work out in. The kind of has a uh, stretch material. Um, I took them to alterations. They had the lady alter them. Uh, uh, and I was coming back. Charles had to leave to a dentist appointment. As soon as I got off the bus, as soon as I got off the bus, it felt like a knob just going up. You know, and I could feel the radio waves starting in the back of my head and the voice to skull from out of the little airport. It was just like waiting for me to get my shorts and Charles to get ready to leave for it could start this stuff before selling pie, knowing I was going to be in the house alone again. So, you know, so it's messing with the housing and it's messing with selling pie all in, at one time. Um, so I'm just making a record of this. 
um, and, and posting it so everybody in the world knows or anybody who sees this or if I have to come back on it later because it creates such a scene where I am unable to control myself and my brain um, there's there's some kind of evidence of me calling KHON 911 and all these people numerous times on this and you know this asshole you know oh it's you again smart ass with the Honolulu Police Department and the switchboard while I'm being tortured tortured just like Robert Duncan says I'm being fucking tortured by this thing. It's targeting me on purpose. It's all intentional. And the gang stalkers around here are honking their horns and beeping and everything else. I'm sick of it. Cage of Wind's covering it up. The Honolulu Police Department has already falsified a police report. And I got a damn recording of the police contact where he asked me my name if it was Chris or Christopher. And I told him it's Chris. It's never Christopher. He fucking put Christopher on anyways. Anyways. And I got a recording of me telling him my name. I got a recording of him telling me or asking me, I mean, of my name. And I told him it's Chris, not Christopher. And he turned around and put Christopher anyways. He falsified my weight, my height, my tattoo, everything on the police report when it comes to these microwaves. So obviously they're covering it up. 